A textbook main summer weekend is winding down. Jason Nappy is here for his full forecast. And Jason, I mean, you really couldn't ask for two better days. Yeah, we didn't get any big time thunderstorms to get you off the lake. So we mm -hmm. got to stay out there all weekend. Hopefully not get too sunburnt, right? It was hot. 68 right now, though, wind south at 8. So it's balmy, it's humid as we get through the night here on your Sunday. Let's get you into the work week and get you ready. Bring on the rain. Sure, we need all of it and happening during the week instead of the weekend, even better. You can go ahead and mow the lawn as we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and beach weather returns for the weekend coming up. Obviously, this weekend is in the books. How about through 7 o'clock in the morning on Monday? Let's take a look at the planner here. And the rain is moving into the western mountains and the foothills first. Coast is still dry at 7 o'clock. And then as we get into the day, by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the rain is moving from about Portland, Scarborough, South Portland, Saco, all the way up Augusta, Lewiston, Auburn, Bangor, Presque Isle, Callis, up towards Brunswick, Eastport. Southern coast around Kittery, York starting to dry out first. And then it is not until 11 o'clock at night where almost the entire state has dried out from the rain. So not a complete all day washout. But you get the idea. The rain will be moving in. How much rainfall? You can expect this is through 9 o'clock. About a third of an inch up in Caribou. Two tenths callous. Expect a little bit more as we get later into the night. And then about two tenths in Augusta. About a half inch in Sanford. And about three quarters of an inch in Rangeley. About a half inch close to that in Rockland. So a good amount. Beach weekend again. Sure. After we cool down on your Monday. How about as we get late into the week and the weekend, 87, 83, 82. So we'll take it. I mean, why not? For the Mariners, sees four to six feet. Wind gusting up to 30 tomorrow with the storm coming in. Small craft advisory with the cold front starting to move in west to east. Heavy rain Monday briefly, not all day heavy. Tuesday, mostly sunny. This is for the coast. Notice we're up in the 70s cooling down tomorrow in the 60s and then it is just a great week and the weekend start to introduce some thunderstorms as we're pushing 80 at the coast and I expect us to get there with more humidity. How about for inland locations 71 periods of rain on Monday Tuesday some fog left over showers will be moving out sunny Wednesday we start to heat up 80s back in the forecast sunny on Thursday. Friday, it's mostly sunny, 85, getting very close to 90 once again. And then here comes that front with some thunderstorms now. Still a debate whether or not that front pushes clear through Saturday into Sunday or if it kind of gets hung up a bit. I was looking at the latest computer models. And also, I have an update to the tropics. If you want to go to my uh, Facebook page, could have Bonnie named later this week as that kind of skirts down towards Central America. But the Atlantic Basin is alive and awake. We have a, a potential new storm out there as a track in the tropics. Go ahead and check out the social media for that. Yeah, well, Jason, it's been a few weeks since we've had some, you know, wild and severe weather to track on the weekends. So you're going to be busy this week. Yeah, all I've got on the uh, mostly on the Facebook page, Sam, is a lot of incredible sunsets. No mm -hmm. golf ball size hail anymore, thankfully. Yeah, but yeah, we'll take that any day of the week. Thank you, Jason.